In this tutorial, we're going to get our first website added so we can start creating content. Now over here on the left hand side, you can see a few different options. We have campaigns. This is where our campaigns are started. Once we create our content, you can view and edit it here. Connecting websites is what we're going to do in just a second. And once you do that, you can group them into separate groups. So maybe if you're focused on different niches or even have clients, you can sort them. Then we're going to use the site wizard to get it set up for us. Now, most people already have their favorite web host and that's fine. But many people ask me what web host I use. So I'll put the link to the web host that I use and their latest deals below this video. If you want to go check them out yourself. I have this new website that I just built called greenreviews.com. You can see it even has the default template. After installing WordPress, I haven't done anything else to this website. So what we're going to do is get this set up, but we're going to use AI wise mind for that. So we're going to come down and go down to connect sites, then click on connect WordPress site. And then we're going to fill out these details. We're going to give the site a name. We're going to put the full URL in here our WordPress username or password, and then the application password. And I'm gonna show you how to get that right now. You wanna to go to your WordPress dashboard, go to users, click on edit, scroll to the bottom, and you're gonna see where it says new application password name. So you wanna enter some kind of a name in here. I'm just gonna do AIWN, which stands for AI Wise Mind, and then click on add new application password. You're then going to copy this and it's very important. You scroll down and click on update profile. So it saves this. Now we're going to go back and we can paste our application password in here. Also with the WordPress username or email, what I normally do is just take it from the user's profile here. Cause you know, it's going to be right. You can see the username right here. Just take this and copy it and paste it. And then for the site URL, we're going to come back over and we're going to take the full first part of the domain name. And we're going to paste it in here. Then we can give it a name. I'm just going to title mine green reviews. Now down here, if you want this to be in a site group, you can select it. If you don't have any already added, you can click this plus sign and create a group and then put this site in that group. I'm just going to skip this for now and click on connect WordPress site. If it doesn't connect, you'll get an error, but here you can see it is connected. Now also you'll notice that my screen here is dark. If yours is not, you can change it by coming up here to your profile and clicking on toggle light mode. And that's all there is to connecting your site. 